Okay, here we go. Uh, I was just working on Photopea here for uh, something for my uh, uh, church. I'm not trying to convert you to my religion or anything. Uh, but what I want to show you is something really simple, and a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of us will run into this. So if we've got an online program like Justin's has got uh, Layout Pro, and uh, they've only got so many fonts and for whatever reason, maybe it's your theme or um, maybe it's not even for your whole book. You just want it for one page or one section. Say you, you want a particular font for your football uh, or fall sports, but you want a different font for winter sports and obviously a different font for academic kind of things. <clears throat> you can make your own headlines. Okay. Uh, last time I had a photo P video here, I was showing you how to maybe process or edit, do some dodging and burning and uh, getting rid of blemishes, healing brush tool on photographs. I uh, want to show you, you know, way simple. How can you make a headline and then you can download it? You know, um, text tool, right? No, that's probably not a word. English teachers out there, gotta be, gotta be hate me. Uh, maybe you can't even see it. You know, I'm choosing all kinds of. You can do whatever color you want. In, in fact, it's not just black and white. Uh, but this uh, right here is so your uh, text menu. Uh, but you have some of these same things up here. So right now, this is uh, Olio script which basically looks a lot like a, a, a Google font called Lobster. Uh, you can choose something else, whatever you want, old stamper. It's going to take a second here. Um, here and here, you can change the size so it's a whole lot bigger. Right? Go yearbookers. I think I spelled it okay. Yeah, headline, go yearbookers. Looks so masculine and tough and football-y, except that it's you know just pink. Uh, maybe you want just black, but fine, whatever you want. Um, maybe you want some special effects. Probably I would recommend you not do this. Uh, I don't know about uh, uh, Herf Jones or uh, Life Touch or uh, other yearbook companies besides uh, Jostens, but um, our program allows us to put uh, uh, Outer Glow and Drop Shadow. Uh, so probably what you want to do is not do that in Photopea, upload it separately and create your drop shadow in uh, uh, your book Avenue or whatever the case may be that you're using. Great idea, maybe crop it, especially if there's uh, too much extra space you don't really want. Simple enough, then you go to file. You don't want to save it. PSD stands for Photoshop document. Basically, it'd be a photo P shop document. You want to go to export. If you want it transparent like this, you want it pane. Okay, portable network graphic. Uh, if you don't want it transparent, go ahead and make it a JPEG. Okay? Definitely stay away from PDF because that's for a whole document. That's not for just a headline. So I recommend just a ping. Ping. Hey, okay. uh, ask you the size, ask you the quality, you know, check with your uh, publishing company. A lot of times they want a really high resolution, like 300 DPI. Uh, so if you are doing something kind of smallish, uh, like two inches, it's not going to be your best. Make it big, make it as big as your page, you know, eight, 10, 15 inches. Notice I changed it from pixels to inches. Okay? Uh, that way, you can always shrink it and make it smaller. But if it's at 72 or 150 and not 300, and you make it 2 or 3 inches, oh, I only need it to be 3 inches wide, well, then it's going to be pixelated and it's not going to look very good. Um, and that's all you got to do. Right? So then you can upload it as if it's a photograph to whatever program that you're using. And maybe I'll show you how to use that, uh, upload it to uh, Lucid Press next time I do a Lucid Press video. Uh, or again, closer to the fall, when I start doing videos on Justin's Yearbook Avenue Layout Pro, 
show you how to upload it there, but I'm not going to do that now. So I just wanted to show you something really fast again. Okay, but now can I, of course, though, I named it Church Topper. That's kind of dumb and embarrassing. Um, anyway, that's it. I got it. Stop it. How do I stop? There's this old guy using a computer. I got to figure out how to. Oh, here's how it turned out, by the way. Or don't show us. That's fine. I think I would know this technology. Still trying to figure out how to stop rec. Oh, what if I stop sharing? Then it'll also stop recording a bit. Oh, yeah. have a great summer.